Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. So I mentioned in one of my past videos that I have a folder full of like my old stories when I started writing when I was about somewhere between six and eight. I can't remember exactly right now. But I remembered this folder and I finally found where it was. And this has a lot of my old stories in where I used to like write my spellings into short stories to help me learn them. And I thought that I'm going to do like a little series of videos on this channel where I'm just going to read you some stories. And I think I'm going to make them short videos and space them out so I'll, maybe I'll do two or three today and we'll see what happens. Also when I found this folder two envelopes were in it which I believe are letters I wrote to myself. This one is from 25th of February 2013 which would have been two days before my 12th birthday and this one is March 2013 and I remember f seeing these when I first found this folder I was like hmm I'll open them like on my birthday or on the date to like celebrate but I think I'm just going to hold on to them as long as possible but when I do open them I'll make a little video here because I want to like record that moment. The first story in this folder, actually there's two on this first page, they're written in a massive size font, I don't know if you can see that, I'm not quite sure what it's called, but yeah it's very big. I think these must have been written on the same day or around the same time because I use the same style of font and I know I went through phases with fonts and then they change for like pretty much every story. Yeah. So, the king with dirty feet. I said it to king that wished to get married with a beautiful girl. The king wanted to live in India or America. One day King Christopher's wish came true. That very night the king went to find his wife. When he found his wife they talked about living in a mansion. I believe mansion was one of the words we had to learn how to spell. Shall we live in the mansion, said the king. Of course, said the queen, I would love to. That very same night the queen had a baby. It doesn't mention this queen's pregnant, by the way, she just has a baby. The baby was a girl, so they called her Mary, which I think is meant to say Mary. And that leads me to believe this was probably around Christmas when we were doing the nativity as a play at school. So that could have been my inspiration. Okay. The baby was a girl, so they called her Mary. One day the king went to work without any shoes on. Oh, where are my shoes and my feet are muddy? I'd better buy some new ones, said the king. Bye me. That's a beautiful piece of literature. I think it also might be inspired by like the Emperor's New Clothes thing. But I can't think anything. Punctuation, the speech, like all the speech marks and capitalization, all the speech punctuation is terrible but I would have been like seven or eight when I wrote this. So I'll forgive it. This next story here, it's a paragraph long, so a good bit of flash fiction here, I believe. And it's called The Easter Fairy. Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful Easter Fairy. The Easter Fairy loved gold and glitter and had a sausage. That was a word we had to learn how to spell. Had a sausage before she went to bed. The Easter Fairy had a little sister that was a bit naughty. These fairies only had a father because their mother died. That could have been inspired by pretty much any book where the, because a lot of YA books have absent parents and that must have rubbed off on young me. One day the fairies went to see their new school and at school the beautiful fairy went to push her little sister over because she had chocolate in her lunchbox. The end. That's a thrilling storyline, lots of twists there. Wow. Okay, I think I'm going to do one more because on here, this is a bit, I remember this, this is the bit of the story I originally wrote, which is the same here. But then I must have printed it off and then my brother, very briefly, he wanted to write stories too. Now he doesn't, he's a mechanic, he likes cars. But there's a back in time where he wrote stories with me and he added on this little bit at the end and it's in a very tiny font at the end because we wanted to print it out and our parents are very strict on like the paper usage so we had to make a film on one page. 
So it has like in the next day and that night. So this is the bit my brother added with me. So I'll just read the entire thing for you. This one is untitled, but as expected, it starts with Once Upon a Time. Once upon a time, there lived a woodpecker that liked to live in the tree. The woodpecker was called Woody. Woody. Woody liked to play in the mud. Also, he loved giant arts. Woody had the best friend that lived in the river. She was called Faith the Fish. Faith liked to throw stones and loved to eat weed. There's some implications with that. L loved to eat weed. They both had a friend that they sent some cake to. Two spelt he double O. He was a crab that likes the number six. <laughs> when Colin the crab, Colin is my dad's name by the way. Colin the crab went to school. He liked the summer term the best, and Colin always rode his bike to school. The crab has a bike. Logic. After school, Colin rode his bike back to the beach where it was raining. So the next day, in the morning, Colin went to find Faith and Woody by the river. After Colin found them, they played stone tennis. After that, they had a mission. They found a new friend called Dennis the Deer. Faith asked Dennis if he wanted to come along with them. That night, they went to see the Deer family. After that, they went back to the beach and had a good night's sleep. Colin woke up at 6am because he had a nightmare. And Faith told him to go back to sleep again. By Kieran and Tegan. I remember writing this story because we used to have a computer downstairs in our house, like tucked away, like under the stairs area, like one of the old ones that took so long to load up. And I don't think the internet worked properly. But there were games on it and a, a Word document, which wasn't even Word, it was Open Office, which is fake Word. And I remember us. One of us was sat in like this with the swivel desk chair and there was like kneeling on the floor and I remember the writing that and it's given me a bit of nostalgia. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my childhood stories. I definitely enjoyed the spelling. So if you like this video give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below and I will see you next time. Bye!